Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about materials and colors in Revit. First I'm going to show you how to apply a material by category in Revit. Then I'm going to show you how to change the color of an element in Revit. Then I'm going to show you how to create a new material in Revit. And finally I'm going to show you how to change the appearance of that material in Revit. See you in Revit. Okay, so what you see here is a 3D view of my old one bedroom apartment. And what we're going to do in this video is apply some colors and materials to some of its elements. So if I open up this picture, we're going to use this for our example. You can see that we have a porcelain kind of like beige floor and we have a black granite countertop. And then you have some kitchen cabinets, right? With a little bit of texture. So if we go back to our 3D view, we have none of that, right? So let's go ahead and change that in our model. So first let's see how to apply a material by category in Revit. For that you would go here to your Manage tab and then under Object Styles you would look for, let's say we start with the floor, right? So the floor, instead of the material being default floor, let's go ahead and change that. And we want to look for, for example, porcelain. So here you have a porcelain ivory. So that seems like a good starting point. You know, we look at our picture and you know, more or less, right? So Let's start with that and if we go then into appearance we have a very good idea of how this would look like you know not bad right it looks pretty similar so i think we can go with that and then you're going to have under graphics something else that's going to be used in, in shading but if you want to use the render appearance for it you can click here and then it would acquire something pretty similar to what we have in appearance so let's go ahead and click ok and now ok and keep in mind that those changes that you do under the appearance tab are only going to be reflected when you are under the realistic visual style. So for example, let's affect a little bit the realistic visual style. Let's say we want it a little bit more on the red side. Right? Let's see, we want to add a little bit of red to that tile. We want to come back to our porcelain. And then under the appearance tab is where we would change this, let's say from 224 to let's say 228. right? And you can see the difference here is pretty slight, but let's make the change. And then that only applies to the realistic, right? If you go back to shade it, you still have that yellowy appearance. All right, so back to realistic. All right, so let's go with the countertop. As you can see, I have this black granite. And if I wanted to change the material of this countertop, I don't want to change it just for this countertop, right? I want to do it for all the countertops. So if I were to click on this element and I go to edit type, and then in the countertop material, I change that to, let's say, plastic, right? Just a little test here. I change that and then only this piece of a countertop changed. That's not what I want, right? So it's better to just do the category. I'm going to hit undo until I go back to my original state. And now I'm going to go to object styles and then under casework, I'm going to find countertop. And then here, I'm going to change that material. And I want to find granite here. So as you can see, I don't have it, but I can open the Autodesk assets library. And then we can go into appearance library and then let's look for, I guess, stone. And here you go, granite. Then we can go with uh, granite black. And you can either double click or you can click here. And then if I close this, what we've done is essentially replace this plastic opaque black. We could have created a new material and apply granite to it. But since I already have this one, I'm just gonna rename. I'm gonna call it granite black and then okay. And now OK one more time. There you go. Now that's our granite, black. And then for the cabinets, we would go here to casework, cabinet. And it's probably fine wood. So oh, maybe this pine here. Let's take a look at appearance. Maybe this color here can be a little bit closer to this. And that would be a lot better. Again, this is not a rendering class where engineers, I just want to show you where to find the information for changing materials and colors. I hope you find this useful.